Hey Pretty Girl Club, so now that this channel has recently passed 8,000 subscribers and we are on the road to 10k, it's getting harder for me to respond to everyone's comments, but I still try to respond as much as I can. Um, but if you're new here, you can go ahead and start off with this video, which is the rules for the Exoticals United community. So rule number one is to always do your research. This is a channel that is based on research for the most part. I try to base my content on research, my own personal experiences, and observation. So I know that a lot of people who first come to this channel, if you only watch one video, you're not gonna understand my content. I would recommend that if you first come here to watch at least 10 videos so that you can get a good, well-rounded view of my content because sometimes people will come on here, they'll watch one or two videos and then they'll make comments that they don't even know that they actually are agreeing with what I'm saying, but because they've made a prejudgment of who I am, they'll come on here and leave negative comments and those people actually just get banned. So when it comes to me hiding people from the channel and banning people from the channel, I tend to ban people if they are coming to argue, if they're coming to put down my platform or put down exoticals, or if they're coming to invalidate what I'm saying or try to use my comment section as some sort of soapbox so that they can get up and try to detract people from my channel. I don't tolerate any of that. And so I will just go ahead and ban those people, especially people who are not critical thinkers as well. Like if you just come here spewing a bunch of rhetoric from Red Pill or from Black Empowerment Spaces where you haven't even fully listened to my channel and you're just judging me and judging the people here, you'll automatically get banned. So if you have been banned, um, I tend to reset my bans maybe about every few months or so. And so it you would have to literally make a whole new YouTube account if you wanted to continue to comment on my channel because when you press the hide user from channel button on YouTube, you can still watch my content so I can still get paid off of your view for my content and you can still comment on my content like YouTube will let you type a whole long paragraph comment and then when you press enter, YouTube will even make it look like your comment is posted on my channel but I won't be able to see it and the subscribers won't be able to see it. So love that for you. But that's rule number one is just do your research. Rule number two is this is a safe space for MLS women. So I know I have some male followers on this channel, but this channel was originally created for women. It's a very feminine name, Exoticals United. If I would have known that any men would be on this channel, I probably wouldn't have named it Exoticals United. But this channel is geared towards women, so anybody that leaves um, hateful, comment, uh, hateful comments against women or people that talk trash about women in any way, um, they're just gonna get banned from the channel as well because this channel is just too much of a feminine space. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure why guys would be on this channel. I'm assuming you want to date an exotical. That's the first thing I can think of. But I would say if you want to date a woman who is an exotical, a woman who is mixed or looks mixed, then you can just listen to the content. And if you want to show support, that's always welcome here as well. Rule number three, have fun. I want this to be a fun space where all of us can like begin to validate ourselves and celebrate our own beauty. Sorry, I'm like moving the mic around. But I want all of us to be able to celebrate our own beauty and our phenotypes. And this is supposed to be a space that celebrates diversity. So the term MLS means mixed of any complexion and of any percentage, so you could be 25, 75. So my threshold on this channel, as far as what my core audience is, it's people who are around the 25% mark or more, because I feel like at that point, it's not even an argument anymore. Like you're mixed, I don't care if you're dark skinned, I don't care if you have 4C hair, I don't care if you have a broad nose, broad features, I don't care. I feel like at that 25% mark, there's not even a debate anymore. Um, but the term MLS means mixed or light skinned. It doesn't mean mixed and automatically light skinned. It just means a person who's mixed of any background. You could be Blasian, you could be black and white, you could have like some Arab ancestry or something. And then when I say light skinned, I'm talking about people who have anywhere from a tan to light brown skin tone. Um, so people who are not white passing. So you have a tan to light brown skin tone and you happen to have overwhelming majority of blackness. So meaning you could have some admixture, but you're like 80% black, 90% black, and you just happen to come out looking the way that you look. Another term that I sometimes use on here is the term dark skinned exotical. And when I use that term, I'm referring to a darker skinned person who looks mixed. 
So this means that I can't confirm whether or not they're mixed because they could be, maybe they're not a celebrity or they're somebody who, you know, I don't know their background. Whenever I show someone on this channel, like whenever I put celebrities on my poster, on the Exoticals United poster, I tend to research that person's background. So I'll look up, you know, I'll look up that person's parents. I'll look up pictures of their parents and their grandparents. I will look up interviews of that celebrity and see if they themselves have said, oh, I'm mixed or this is my background or whatever. And same with people who use terminology like light skinned or whatever, I tend to look them up and see if they talk about their skin tone ever or if they have been accused of things like colorism or if they've been accused of, you know, only benefiting from colorism. So this channel, it is pretty research based. I'm not gonna be perfect on this channel. I am gonna make mistakes. I may use the wrong terminology sometimes. I may make editing mistakes on here, but at the end of the day, I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect content creator. I'm not an expert content creator. I am also still learning as I go along. So I'm still going to mess up sometimes. Um, and if I do mess up, I will do my best to correct myself and I'll make follow up videos and stuff like that. So if you guys ever have any questions about certain things, you can always ask me in the comment section. And I try to answer as many questions as I can in the comments. Another rule for this channel is I want you guys to take everything I say with a grain of salt. I don't ever want to create an audience where it's like some sort of cult or something. I'm not trying to make myself some sort of cult leader. You don't have to listen to every single thing that I say. You definitely don't have to listen to all of my stories or, you know, any sort of advice that I give on here because I think at the end of the day, only you know yourself best. So if you want to use different terminologies than I use, that's fine. If you want to identify yourself differently than how I may have identified you on the channel, that's totally fine. Um, I don't actually care about policing people in real life. All I care about is us having a safe space and us not being silenced anymore. That's what I care about the most. My next rule is I want you guys to make your own YouTube channels. I would love to see more people creating channels and growing communities and getting their exotical tax from YouTube and you know just talking about their experiences because the more that we all speak up as a community the more that other people will stop bullying us because I'm tired of people using anti-black talking points against mixed people or against lighter skinned people as if you know we are somehow invalid or something like that and so anyway let me know what you guys think of this video and I'll talk to you next time Stay pretty, ladies.